Okay, so in this video we're going to look at a different type of decision structure. Let me just demo the front end real quick. This is a like a pretend game show. I can choose door number one, two, or three to claim my prize. So I will choose door number three and my prize is a brand new Tesla. So let's take a look at the code here. I'm using what is called a switch statement. Here's a switch. We'll look at it more in depth in a moment. But a switch is a, another way of making a decision. Um, it's maybe a little bit cleaner than the if, else, if, else, if, else, if. Um, it's not interchangeable, however, with the if, else, if, else. If. It's not as versatile. Um, you can pretty much do anything with the if, else, if statement. Not so much with the switch. The switch typically only works um, in C++, at least with integral uh, data values. And by that, I mean values that are converted to integers behind the scenes. Certainly integers, like in this program, door number one, two, and three. Um, the bool we talked about is actually stored as like zero and one behind the scenes. Um, so that's an integral value. And then characters, the char type is also like that. So for ints and chars, the, the switch makes sense. Um, but for the decimal types, forget it. Don't don't uh, don't even bother because we did talk about briefly um, in the beginning of the course how decimal numbers are stored as approximations in memory, and that would really be a problem here if we tried to use those with the switch. So in any case, what I'm doing is um, I have an integer for the door that the user chooses. I have a string to hold the prize, and I'm getting the door choice from the user. So then I'm going to run that door through the switch statement, the door number here. So um, this is a syntax. Like I said, it's a little cleaner than the if else. We type the word switch and then in parentheses the variable that we are evaluating, that integral variable, like in this case the integer that represents the door that is being evaluated. And then in a curly brace sandwich here, or a set of curly braces, we have this series of case statements. Now in this case there were only three doors so I have three case statements plus a default, which is optional. So in the case of one, they would have, the, the contestant would have gotten a can of soup. And in the case of two, a uh, supply of toilet paper and so on. We saw in the case of three, we got the new car. Um, notice these break statements. You have to include those. If you don't, what it's going to do, it's going to, execution is going to fall through. Okay, and what we mean by that is just going to go down and execute every single one of these, and they're going to get, even if they choose number door, uh, door number one or two, they're going to get that new Tesla, because every one of those, if I don't put the break statements, the execution is just going to fall through and do every single one, and they're going to end up with the car. So it's just, it's not going to work. So you have to break, so you, you put your, whatever's going to happen when the case uh, criteria is met, and then um, you put a break statement. That's just typical way of constructing the switch. And then the default is like, let's say I had entered the wrong door. I didn't do one, two, or three. Then um, this would be the default that would execute. You know, kind of like with the if, else, else, if, else, if. It's, it's going down the line and looking for a match. It's looking for a hit. So, um, and if it doesn't find one, then the default will execute. You don't have to have the default, but um, I, I included one here. And that's it. So that's a switch. It is used, um, like I said, it's not interchangeable with the if-else. The if-else, you can do anything with that. Not so much with the switch. For example, a range of values, if you recall our body mass index program, where we were kind of isolating a range of values. Uh, a numeric range. You, you can't do that with the switch. The switch is just very simple, straightforward syntax for a, a simple, straightforward scenario.